This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. A black bear on the move, the Bearcats bring home a championship and a stunner in the stadium series. This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. This is a great atmosphere. Again, mafia means family, so like people down there who have never met, you know, they're, they're my friends. We think we got dogs, chickens, chili, food, and bananas. We got a, we got a buffalo. You missed it, but we had a buffalo. The Buffalo fans here tell us that being a part of Bill's Mafia, win or lose, forms bonds that will last a lifetime. We were going to be a Bill's backer bar. We wanted to go the whole way and make sure we left no stone unturned. So we came out with our own merch, our own beer. Join us as we are on the road to the championship presented by Jeff Kai's live from Highmark Stadium. Bill's Mafia, the passionate fan base of the team, is getting ready to check out a new movie about their beloved Bills and so much more. We got a chance to talk to the directors today about their movie and how you might be able to check it out during this Bills playoff push. Yeah! It was like a long journey that has come to an end and it was the best ending possible. A journey that ended with a national championship win for Union Endicott's varsity game day cheer team. We were all sitting there holding each other's hands like as tight as could be. And it went down from 13 all the way down. And then we didn't hear anything, and all of a sudden it was your national champion. I guess it's a sense of being home. It just feels like whenever I go into the Vestal gym, it just feels like I belong. It means a lot knowing that you're a role model for younger student athletes. The trip was one that former Windsor shortstop David Flora could not turn down. It's nice, especially coming from this area. The annual tradition helps to raise funds for the American Heart Association. It's the third time they have broken their own mark, and the group holds the four fastest times recorded inside the Stack Metro Division. Hit the wall. I want a 50 strong. We are really looking for stories of, of empowerment and um, overcoming barriers through sports and across 150, 200 years here in Tompkins County. While also learning some life lessons along the way. That's going to really transfer into the game, making you a better player even just a better human being. A dream that the defenseman is chasing with his dad right alongside. I've been with my son on the bench since he's been four years old. That is a really good uh, Vermont team. And, you know, I we talk about it and talk about it as a staff, and we tell our team how special they are. And, and just having them finally believe and seeing all their hard work. The entire game, um, we made it clear that it was a statement game and that every loose ball, every hustle play had to be ours. So I think um, throughout the whole game, like we wanted that that loose ball more than they did. Rams not going away. Boston Carano knocking down to the corner three, hitting the MJ shrug. The freshman's got some swag, but his older brother Connor telling him, whatever you can do, I can do better with the three of his own. Main and Wells defense, way too much slow for the Rams. The turnover into transition for the finger roll. Spartans win big in the battle of the classes. Main and Well takes down South Court right 101 to 66. Binghamton is also returning most of their rotation from last season. The Bearcats are led by sophomore ace Brianna Roberts. Roberts finished 2023 with 11 wins, 106 Ks, and a 2.86 ERA, all top five in the America East, along with being named the conference rookie of the year. Adding some new pitches is definitely going to help me a lot and just like mixing up the, um, the pitch calling and just like where I typically would locate pitches might change a little bit based on the batter, based on the teams. So definitely just keeping them on their toes always. Too much from Tobacco Road and the Tar Heels. RJ Davis here going baseline and dropping it, not to my Mondo, not to your Mondo, but to our Mondo Baycott for the slam. UNC remaining undefeated. Timberlake here going to the rim. He's bringing sexy back. The two would combine for 31 points in the game as Bazone hits another J here to extend the Bulldogs' lead. Sophomore Lauren Cuomo would net the lone singles victory for Binghamton. A winner in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. Cuomo also a part of Binghamton's one of two doubles wins alongside senior Abby Ackroyd. Casey leading the break and passing it right into your living room. Four back Bearcats would touch the rock before Coleman drains the three when the defense takes over. The block, the nice little touch pass, and then the slam. Binghamton tells NJIT, there can be only one. The Bearcats take down the Highlanders, 69 to 55. 
It was a snowy, windy day in Vestal for this one. We pick up action in the second quarter. Junior captain Matthew Keegan here. He makes a move. He makes a spin. He puts it in the back of the net. He fires it home. Super Bowl 58 shaping up. Kansas City telling all the doubters, you need to calm down. Patrick Mahomes enchanted on the afternoon, going 30 of 39 passing, including 11 balls to Travis Kelsey. The tight end was ready for it, finishing with 116 yards and a score. Chiefs beat the Baltimore Ravens 17 to 10. Now, we got the basketball team here behind us. As I said, 6-2 and two at home, 4-5 coming up here at Binghamton. How important is this stretch of games as we get into postseason and then tournament play? Coach, team last year was 9-5 and five overall, 5-2 five and two in conference. What needs to be done this year to improve on those marks and compete in a very stacked America East Conference? It's a long season, 50-plus games. We're here in February, and you're mentioning April, May. How do you stay focused all year on the ultimate goal? Reporting live in Tompkins County, Zach Grady, 12 Sports. Reporting from the Event Center, Zach Grady, 12 Sports. Reporting live from the Binghamton Event Center, Zach Grady, 12 Sports. Reporting from the Binghamton Campus, Zach Grady, 12 Sports. Reporting from Orchard Park, Zach Grady, 12 Sports.